This rotor machine below legal limit. Predict following grade six collision. Warning, warning. I think we should go away for the weekend. Where do you want to go? Um, warning, warning. This rotor machine below legal limit. Ah! What is it? Excess heat, brake fade, pad wear. Occupants in danger. Repairer liable to prosecution. I'm scared. Oh, yeah? You want to see something really scary? It is scary to think that motorists trust their lives to a disc rotor like this one. But who's going to tell them? There is no friendly alien, no dashboard warning light. Quite simply, the responsibility rests with the automotive service professional, which is why the Motor Repair Council has come out against dangerous machining of disc rotors and why Disc Brakes Australia bring you this presentation. What do we mean by dangerous machining? Obviously, reducing the friction surface or contact plate to below the manufacturer's specified minimum. That's just common sense. What's not so well known is that only one to two millimeters can be machined off any disc rotor before the legal limit is reached. Now in Europe, no repairer ever machines a disc rotor. It's not that the penalties are any higher than Australia, it's just that the consequences are better known. Now this disc has been machined. To the untrained eye or to the careless repairer, it doesn't look very different from the new product. But because there is less material to absorb the heat, the hotter braking temperatures can glaze the pad, requiring greater pedal pressure. This disc rotor was machined by a repairer called Wright. You might have met them. She'll be right. There is so little heat-absorbing thickness on the friction surface that increased pad wear and brake fade are now a real possibility. The cost to this motorist in pad replacement would be greater than if the job had been done correctly and the rotors replaced. And that's not even considering the cost of an accident due to brake fade. A very real possibility now that drivers are no longer taught to pump their brakes down steep inclines. Now look at this little gem. It probably seemed okay when the motorist drove away from the repairer. But with service long overdue, it has worn right down to the vent holes. This rotor is not only illegal, it's lethal. There is simply not enough surface area to perform the braking function.